Hey YouTube, I'm uh, playing here on Hack Attack against Thomas Rindle. So uh, uh, I'm going to get destroyed. That's going to be fun. So I uh, hope oh, he's telling me good luck. I should say that back to him. We're going to play a good old Scandinavian, and hopefully he doesn't do anything too crazy that I don't know about. So uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous. I shouldn't be, but I really sort of am. So uh, let's see here. We did uh, two... We're going to play three games, I guess it is, at 5-2 uh, time control. So uh, yeah, this is pretty pretty exciting. I'm... I'm sort of stoked about this and I'm also sort of happy that he gets to do uh, a standard uh, a standard sort of setup so I know that I'm not going to get beat directly out of the opening oh no <laughs> uh, I've seen this sort of setup before and uh, I don't like it even a little bit um, it kind of causes some some problems because I can't play uh, I can play bishop g4, but he'll just play f3, and playing the bishop out to f5 doesn't really make any sense anymore, since it's just hitting on d3. Um, let's see here. I suppose the what I should do then is, well, I just need to develop anyway. Uh, I gotta get this, I wanna get this bishop out somewhere, so I suppose I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it here, as usual. I might even castle along. That seems to be a theme for the Hack Attack show, so uh, why not? It could be fun. But uh, I know against these D3 lines, uh, I'm supposed to try to like trade queens if I can. So I'm going to be trying to trying to do that as soon as soon as uh, as soon as possible. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to to play like Queen E5. Maybe if he plays Queen E2, which is a pretty normal a pretty normal line. I might play like knight c6 and then head over to e2, or excuse me, head to, to e5. And I can't really castle long just yet because uh, f7 is a problem. Okay. Um, I didn't really expect that. Uh, I sort of expected maybe he would play knight to f, knight to e2 and come out to f4 maybe. Um well, he's perhaps threatening already to, to play some annoying things. So I'll go here. I guess I should just play sort of normal-ish. Not do anything too crazy here. It's funny how incredibly nervous I am about this, though. I really don't think that I should be. Um... It's already looking a bit dangerous on e6. I can play bishop b4, which carries the threat of taking on c3. It takes, takes, and then maybe I can get my queen trade in that way. Plus, I'm going to perhaps get better, uh, get castled a bit more quickly. So we're, we're going to do that. Okay. And let's play, mm, I feel like I should just castle, so we're going to do that. <clears throat> He's covered e5, so my, my idea of trading queen seems uh, off the board, though... Well, maybe, maybe bishop g4 is an idea. I wonder which way he's going to castle. Because I can play bishop g4, because he's not going to play f3 now. He's not going to castle long, because I can... Well, no, yeah, he could. Never mind. What's, what's your idea, sir? What, sir, is your plan? I'm sort of tempted. I don't really want to play knight to c6 anymore. Because if he takes it, i got to take back with a pawn, which I think is annoying. I think the normal move 
and the move I probably ought to play is to play knight d7. He doesn't have any discoveries, but I'm also lacking a bit of a place for my queen. Uh, so, if, for example, if he plays like a3 and then I have to retreat the bishop, um, he's got a discovery set up and I don't have the c7 square, which I'd like. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to give myself that square. Also, though, ah, so he thinks he's, he's going to play g4. That's what he's going to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm going to go here then, because I'm threatening to win the piece. Okay. And he's still threatening to play g4, but I can sort of cause a queen trade if I want now. I'm not even a little bit surprised about that move. All right. I was, you can already see I want to do that queen trade idea. Uh, give myself a little escape square and play queen e5 next. Wow, I'm getting pretty far down on time. That's not really that surprising. Yeah, I kind of expected that. So now that the queen trade is not on the board anymore, he, uh, what can I do? How do I get him motivated to do something here? Um, Guess we're going to play b5 and then follow it up with knight c4 or knight c5. It's going to be the uh, the idea here. And he follows up immediately. He's going to play, well, maybe not. Or actually, he's, there's a good chance, I feel like, that he might just sacrifice on... I wonder if I take, no, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> if I take here, he takes, yeah, if I took here, wouldn't he, yeah, he could take with the bishop, and then I could come back here with a check, maybe he drops the bishop back, that doesn't work. I think there's a good chance he'll sacrifice on h6. This feels like an idea that he may, uh, may go for. I'm not so worried about g5 because I can just take it and then maybe play f6 later. No, I can't play f6 because I have some serious problems with this bishop there. I have to play a bit more quickly though or I'm going to lose on time. That's absolutely how this is going to work. Maybe I should have delayed castling and not been surprised at all that he castled the opposite to me. So I'm going to capture on b3 almost no matter what he does. Almost no matter what. Huh. I wonder. I have a check. He almost says take with the pawn now, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to. Um, checking makes, like, no sense, I don't think. Let's just continue hitting. I've really got nothing better to do than to continue trying to attack him. He can't play bishop d2, but he sure can sack on g7, which looks pretty terrifying to me. Pretty terrifying. And kind of what I expect to happen as well, actually. Okay, so... 
let's capture here. And because if he takes with the rook, I can come down with check and win the other rook. So he can't capture, he can't capture that pawn. That's amazing. But with only 12 seconds left. <laughs> uh, it's kind of an interesting game, though. I'm enjoying it, to be honest. So I think f6 will probably be the move I play next. So he just goes for it. Oh. Oh, because if I take, he had a problem. Oh. I'm getting mated here, actually. Maybe. Well, maybe not. Because I can take the bishop now if he tries to discover. And now the queen comes in for check, though, but I can hit the rook. Oh, but I'm getting mated on e7. Ah, oh, shame. <laughs> shame. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> All right, that was that was pretty exciting. I uh, I'm I'm relatively happy with how that uh, how that game went down. So uh, uh, I think I'm supposed to play three of these. So we'll hit him up with a rematch and see what happens. All right, so we'll play d4, and I kind of expect him to play a Dutch. But if he doesn't, I'm going to be probably happy. The uh, <clears throat> Dutch is a really uh, good way to beat me. I, I know very little, next to nothing, about the Dutch. So uh, the good thing about these games, though, is he's so much higher rated than I am that it uh, it doesn't really matter if I uh, if I lose because uh, I don't lose any rating points. So that's always fun. Looks like we're gonna have a King's Indian instead of a. Uh, um, <clears throat> Instead of the Dutch, I'm sort of actually hoping for the Dutch. I uh, I spent about five minutes prepping the Staunton Gambit, so uh, and now I don't get to play it. <coughs> oh well, should be fun. I've been playing a lot of uh, bullet games in this kind of line, where I just play h4 almost as soon as uh, humanly possible. So once it's clear that they're going to castle, I just uh, have been... Ah, uh, so now he's doing something weird. Um, I really kind of doubt that that was a mouse slip. So, I kind of wish it was. I wish that there was some problem with that line, but I don't know what it is. Um, what is the idea behind playing e6? Why e6 instead of knight f6? Are you going to play d5 next? I don't know. Okay, it's pretty clear that he's going to castle on the short side of the board. So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to go to town on uh, on that. If he plays d5, I'll probably just take it. Well, let's have fun. This is hack attack, right? So I'm just going to go for it. We're just gonna get we're gonna get crazy on the king side, and I'm just gonna try to dismantle him over there. So he can't castle long for a long time. So, uh, ooh. okay. Um, this kind of means he can't castle now without giving me a pawn. Okay. So is he gonna play? So should I continue? I kind of like that idea. So we continue on. If he pushes past, then, okay, all right. Now I want to play d5. And I've got actually a pretty good structure. He's going to have a lot of problems playing f5. So I think I should lock that down first. 
So I've made f5 very difficult to achieve for him. And we're going to play d5 next and try to close it down as much as we can. And then we're going to go for playing c5. So we can play things like b4 and whatnot. Um, what's this? What's your plan there? Okay. So it's a weird idea. So takes, takes, knight takes, or queen takes. And how does he? Hmm. It's worth thinking about, I think. Also taking on so taking on e6 and then taking on e5. You know what? Let's just uh, let's just do it. Seems fun. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Try to play interesting games, and uh, just have some have some fun here. Just see how things go. I'm gonna hit with F4 on the the next move. I really don't feel like I have anything to risk, so uh, I'm not worried about how the game's gonna go at all. <laughs> okay. The question is, should I play f4 here, or should I play kind of what I intended and go with or should I capture here try to bring the knight in <clears throat> this is fun, regardless of what happens. <laughs> Playing an interesting, entertaining, entertaining game. It's gonna come down to I have I'm gonna get two connected passers here. Is what looks like my my comp compensation will be. Okay. Let's kick him out of the way. And we're going to maybe go to H5 check is our idea. Then we just gotta find some way to shove that uh, shove that pawn home. Oh, I didn't really expect that. Okay. Yeah, this is. <laughs> This is a fun game. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's all I can say, because I'm just excited to be playing interesting games against a strong player. Um, who do you want to take there? Okay. Okay. Um, I guess we do want to take there. You also want to take there. Mm hmm Do what to do. 
Well. Doesn't that win the night? No. <laughs> no. It's the resounding. <laughs> uh, this is at least awkward for you, right? Let's push past. I'll castle long soon, maybe. Yeah, I wondered if he wouldn't do that. I guess we have to go here, don't we? No! No! Don't be foolish! Don't be foolish! <laughs> Do not drop queen. That is the wrong idea. <laughs> so if he takes, okay. Um, can I go here? I'm running low on time, so I have to do something. Can I go here now? Where are you going with your queen now? Here or here, maybe. I really kind of wondered that pawn there. That was pretty annoying. Because if you, yeah, if you put the queen on either of those two squares, I'm going to go grab the knight back. Okay, it's an interesting idea. I didn't see. Well, we're going to go right here. What we, oh, I just dropped a piece. <laughs> That's super annoying. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, uh, dang it. I had a really interesting game going, and I just blew it. Shoot. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, it's all over now. All over now. Just resign. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we play one more. Oh, okay. That was that was pretty that was actually pretty exciting. I really, uh, really enjoyed that. That was that was one game. Um, I wonder if he'll play e4 again. If he does, I, I feel sort of obligated to play something different to be entertaining. But uh, if not, then I guess mm, I don't know. If he plays what? <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> It's funny because before the before the match, he uh, Tom's a really really nice guy, and he uh, he messaged me and asked if there was any opening that I uh, wanted him to play, and uh, I said no thanks because I didn't think that that was I don't know it just didn't seem like the right thing to do, but uh, I said 
However, if you want to play the Bomb Cloud, that you can you can do that, which is like they play E3, King E2, and King D3. Uh, but actually, I told him don't do that because uh, <laughs> because if I lost anyway, it would be really embarrassing. So uh, I'm uh, I'm sort of glad that we didn't we didn't do that. I'm trying to decide if I want to if I want to capture that knight over there. Or if I should. Is he gonna play Is he gonna play Queen B three? That might be annoying. Now you're just being silly. <laughs> now you're just being silly. Cause if I take it, he takes back with the pawn. I could castle quickly. Me. I don't know. I don't really want to. It just doesn't feel like the right thing to do. Is he going to try to force me to play e4 and then put the knight in there? Like, what is your plan for that knight? Um, I want to play, like, bishop e3, but then the queen come. No, oh, that's not anything to worry about. Let's just do it. Pawn's plenty well defended, and I can always just play queen c2. Or if he comes out for the check, I can put the knight on c3. Although, apparently this is, was his plan. I put the knight there or there. Now it just looks like silly. This is kind of closed. And this is not such, this square is on a dark square. So it kind of, yeah, I'd like to get rid of my light squares bishop now though. I don't know what's going on. Don't know. Don't care. Although he chose to castle first. No, I'm not going to castle long. There's just no way that's happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, friends. That's not going to happen. Not with the C file open. I don't even know if I want to play Queen C7. I am thinking about playing h6, though. Okay. Is queen b6 an idea? Well, I know it's an idea, but that doesn't make it a good one. I'm going to get castled before I do anything crazy. I don't really know what's happening in this game. Uh, what to do, what to do, oh, he both has, this g5 and b5 squares are both really annoying. No, I'm going to let you take that bishop if you want it, I'm just going to let you do that. I'm more concerned about you playing to b5 square. You're a long ways from going here, I'm just going to do this. I just don't want you to put there, and I'm not worried about if you take it. I'll even you can you can take my crappy bishop if you want it. If that's how you feel about your life, and you think that you really need that bishop, you can just have it. Okay, I think that it is now time to castle. I'm not actually planning to play um, b5. Because I don't want to give the c4 square. Um, let's put this here. Because it seems like the e file could open. Might could. Knight. Knight gives me isolated pawn. Pawn takes give him pawn pawn. Let's put this here. Maybe it'll be some sort of uh, discoveries later. Possible. Maybe with this undefended bishop. Pardon 
perhaps. I also have to note that uh, this pawn's still hanging. And. Okay. I have to go here in between because if I take here, he's got that move. So we need to go here first. Does get you pawn for it? Does indeed. <laughs> of course, I'm going to take it. Right. Oh, he's trying to decide which way to go. I might be able to get the pawn back with queen b6. I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, Let's go here. No, 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 terrible. Mm. Let's go here. Looking at that pawn right there. That's that, that pawn is the pawn that I think I really would like to put a bishop on e4 also. If I can get this bishop from here to here. That would be a huge accomplishment. Am I just going to get mated now? Is that how this is going to go down? Perhaps so. I have an idea. If he plays the rook over, which threatens the mate, I play bishop f5, hit queen, and then I can get that back with check. This is my idea. Which doesn't allow. Again, he's kind of a jerk like that. Well, I can still do it. It's not. If I played here, he takes, I take, he takes, I take. He's got. Um, well, I guess we shouldn't be, I want to move him up to defend laterally. So I really just want to put him on A2. And again, my plan against rook a4 is still to play bishop f5. That's still my idea. I might be able to get a pawn back with knight b5. Okay. Ah. Let's go ahead and defend laterally as I was planning, and maybe we'll put, maybe we'll talk about, oh, he, oh, crikey. Running out of time, and we have to do something. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a pretty good spot for the. OK. 
Okay. This will come here. Oh, he took away my little resource. My what the he replaced the knight with the 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 bishop there and yeah, he killed my little idea. So King G two rook bring the other rook over. That's the idea, I guess. It's the best I've got. Where's he coming? Oh, that was annoying. Because he just brings somebody over to check. There you go, genius. You're like the smartest person I know, Jonathan. Nerd. I guess I can take that pawn. Just for spite, right? He's gonna, yep. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's funny. I maybe have some checks over here now. Oh, one on time. Ah. Uh. Uh. We will thank him for playing and uh all right so that was a lot of fun i'm gonna i'm gonna sign off now and uh so i can go back into the the actual show and uh, watch the rest of it hope you guys enjoyed that i had a blast and uh we'll see you all next time thanks a lot bye bye